I just recently were were up in the oil sands just last week actually and you know you develop with those relationships and and they'll you know they you got a, a test truck if you will and they'll show like they can tell exactly how fast it's going the the rate of pressure in you know whether it's in cylinders or suspensions it's it's wildly impressive so you know when you're bringing something to market you better have done your homework because mm-hmm. you can't you know like we said that customer uh just last week you can get away with selling something typically once but you know, that's going to be it. And I think that's where it, like Dan said, it all comes back to that engineering group of, you know, their ability to, to stay ahead of the curves. And, and I, it goes back to the relationships with the customers of, of sharing information and, you know, how do we get better? And I think, you know, we got a couple, a couple guys here in Sheridan, as well as in, in Gillette and Tempe that are, you know, truly, you know, pioneers at their craft and, and are extremely well-versed in, in what we do. And, and, you know, I guess the industry trend staying on top of that. And, you know, I think that the, the huge thing is as well as the communication from what I get from customers, passing it on to the product line managers, yeah. getting it to the engineers. And it, um, I think if you don't have those frontline people getting that work, you're, you know, it's, it's not going to work. And also you can have the best frontline people, but if you don't have, you know, engineers or that buy-in from the, the ownership group to invest in these products. You know, I think that's where, you know, that, that buy-in from the organization of like, Hey, we want to, we want to stay on top of this and, yeah. and continually push the envelope of in helping customers increase it. And they see it, they appreciate it. And, you know, I think it's, it's, it's worked very well 